Hi, this is Brandon Spilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the Reverse Band Buffalo Bar Bench Press. So this is a great variation used to train at the chest, but also get some overload and work on your lockout and increasing time retention. So you can get a lot of different stimulus uh, from this exercise, and it really kind of depends upon what you want to go after. So to briefly talk about the Buffalo Bar, We've got a video on just that bench press. You can watch that for more details. But this is basically a squat bar. And as you can see, it's designed with a camber in it to increase the range of motion. However, this is actually a, a squat bar, so you can increase range of motion on your shoulders, and that way you can hold on the bar more comfortably. It's going to sit a little more comfortably. However, power lifters, we like the bench press with this bar because it's a subtle way to increase range of motion of the bench press, improving the strength and size of our bench press. Um, and so this is a good variation of that. Now, you can find all kinds of different bars like this, different manufacturers. Uh, this is an older one, but you can definitely find them on the market. Um, there's some knockoff brands or more Chinese-based options, or you can get something from like Kabuki, which is definitely more pricey, but in my opinion, it is definitely probably the superior bar if you're looking for a buffalo bar. So you can check that out over at his website. But for the reverse band option, you will need a rack to where you can hook up band pegs to be able to have the bands assist you. And so what the bands are going to do is the bar comes down closer to my chest. The bands are basically going to lighten the way the load feels. Louis Simmons popularized this being this called the future method uh, because the idea is that you're going to be able to hold weights in your hands that hopefully you can hit in the future. Um, and then obviously we have them on both sides and then the increased range of motion that we get from the bar. So again, we're going to increase range of motion, increase load, and then hopefully work on the lockout as we have to grind through a bigger range of motion. So we're going to increase that time under tension and really learning how to grind. So to show you how this works here, get a lay down the bench. All my bench press technique and mechanics are pretty much the same. Set my shoulders, set my feet, unlock, unrack the bar, come down to my chest, and then press. And then rack. So when it comes to programming an exercise like this, this is an exercise that you're probably honestly going to use more for heavy work than anything else. You're not going to do speed work with it. You're probably not going to hold a lot of repetition work with it. You're honestly going to use this to hit heavy singles, doubles, and triples. The goal being to handle more weight in your hands than you normally could without the bands. Now, the buffalo bar option of it is going to let you be able to handle that weight in a bigger range of motion, teach you to fight with the weight more. So if you happen to be one of those people that you can't grind through weights to save your life, you're like, man, I just hit a wall and it just stops. Like, I can't fight. An exercise like this can really teach you how to fight and grind and think technically underneath heavier loads because you're increasing the range of motion while handling heavier weight. And so therefore, that's a good combination to be able to do so. So that's really the only way that I would honestly particularly use this exercise. If you did want to do three sets of five with it, by all means, you certainly could. I just personally think that there's better options available in terms of trying to develop some strength either off the chest or overload. I think there's just two flat out better options available than something like this. But by all means, if you happen to do some buffalo bar work already in your training program and then you want to throw the bands on and keep going, I think that's totally fine. So if you have any questions about this exercise, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks, Gar.